hello YouTube! Don't worry, the daily vlog has not gone away. You probably are thinking this week that the channel has turned into a trail running shoe review channel. It has not, but this is my life. I received two pairs of shoes in the mail this week. The Solomons from two days ago, which I loved. And now these guys, which I won last weekend at a race, the La Sportivas, which is an Italian company. I have never, ever, ever put a pair of La Sportivas on these feet. So I'm just going to give you my initial impressions today. I'm going to do a three mile jog through the streets of Denver. Even though these are trail shoes, uh, I will give you a full review in about 50 to 80 miles after I put on these guys. Uh, mountain running, it says right there, mountain running. Oh yeah, tomorrow is a race. I'm going to shake out my legs today, shake them out, shake them out, make them feel good. Let's go. They fit. I was a little worried because they're European sizing, so I had to make a little bit of an estimate, a little bit of guess, but they feel good. I think I nailed it. All right, I'm, I'm not saying we're out of the woods by any means as far as purchasing and the ability to purchase running shoes whenever I want. Uh, but remember when I bought these Hoka's off of Craigslist? Uh, I don't even, I think these are the, can't rem, I can't even remember. Anyway, I bought them off Craigslist because it was a good deal. I think I paid 20 or 30 bucks for basically a brand new pair of running shoes. So, bottom line, I am incredibly incredibly grateful to have brand new La Sportiva shoes that somebody just sent to me. And I wish I could shake someone's hand in there, La Sportiva. Uh, so, this is my initial impression, as I already said, not my full review, I'll do that down the road, of the Tempesta GTX. And basically, this thing is a beast. Uh, what I told True Love about 10 minutes ago is that this is going to be a perfect trail running shoe for long, slower days. If I'm going out for four hours, five hours, six hour tr uh, training run up in the mountains, this is gonna be a great shoe. It's a little stiff. It's got some stabilization plates here toward the heel. That's what this black plate is right there. And uh, it was definitely really stiff running on the roads. It's not a road shoe, of course. I knew that before I took it out, but I could not resist just getting a little jog in in these guys uh, before the race tomorrow. And so, and another way to describe it, it for my first impression is that it felt a little bit like going for a jog in like a, a, a lightweight uh, hiking shoe. Does that make sense? You know what a hiking shoe feels like compared to a running shoe? So that's kind of what it felt like. Uh, I'm excited to break this in. This is not a, a shoe that you would wear right out of the box and expect to feel great. This thing is pretty stiff and the first mile I could tell like, okay, this is probably going to take 20 miles, maybe 30 miles to break it in. Uh, which is, I feel like a lot of old running shoes, like 15 years ago, you used to always break them in, not so much, not as much anymore. Um, and what there was one other point. I thought of what I was going to say. I thought of what I was going to say. Okay, because I'm gonna, going to need to break this in, I can tell by the material and by how it is a little on the stiffer side that this shoe is going to last forever. I bet. Once again, similar to the Solomons from two days ago, I bet I could get uh, 500 miles out of these shoes. I'm just like, I can, I, I can, it's, it's, it's different than the Hoka. It's different. It's different. It's a different quality of material. And um, so I'm excited. The upper is amazing. Re really well built upper. Um, bottom line, 
it's good. It's good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. But I gotta break them in. So I gotta wrap up the vlog pretty quickly because I gotta pack and get everything in the car and get to bed so I can drive to Copper Mountain by like 6 a.m. tomorrow, which is about an hour and a half drive from my house. So who knows what else we'll film? Who knows? Filming one more thing. Filming one more thing today. Little little Nutella. Oh, shout out to Lisa, Damien, hmm, Shop Twilled, hmm. A couple other people commented yesterday about how to uh, win the battle with Mr. Rat. I don't have any peanut butter. Good idea, everybody. Good idea. But we do have some Nutella. At least the rat will go down smiling, right? At least it'll go down smiling. See, beauty, work hard. Thanks for watching the shoe review and a little bit of life fighting the rat. See.